What's up, people? Welcome back. We are going to take a look at the brand new Pingai 14.04 by request. Well, from Pingai himself. Pingai, what's up? It's been a while. All right, I'm running this in a virtual box. Um, not doing the install. I'm assuming this has a user friendly install as they have in the past. I have no reason to believe otherwise. So, if you are a beginner and wanted to take a look at something that is loaded, uh, make sure you have a nice hefty machine. This is based off of the uh, GNOME shell, I believe, which can be resource intensive. But if you have a dual core machine, 4 gig of RAM, or anything close to that, you're probably going to be okay. All right, as I stated, I'm running this inside a virtual box. So this will run slower than usual. Now this has, this is almost the default desktop. This has something called Variety, yeah, Variety Wallpaper Changer, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I think I'll leave it here. What you can do is click this here. There we go, and it just changed. And if I click it again, I believe it's going to change again. Let's give it a shot here. All right, you can do, let's see, playback, go to next. I think that's how that works. There we go. Okay. That kind of reminds me of Italy. Cool. Let's try it again. All right, space, the final frontier. Anyway, let's take a look at this. As I stated, this is the default desktop here with a nice big conky. Now this, you don't have to, have to leave this on the screen if you, if you prefer a more sparse looking desktop. I'll show you how to change that or get rid of that in a moment. You have a nice little docky here called docky, duh. I believe you have something, uh, let's get out of that there. Okay, I think you have, yeah, here we go. We have some shortcuts here of your file folders. Again, and this is running sluggish in a virtual box, but that is to be expected. I am still in need of a test machine, so if you can, please donate to the channel so I can do these properly. Anyway, all right. Okay, pictures, home, Recent. I won't go through all of this again. If you are coming from a Windows environment, this shouldn't be confusing at all. All right, let's get out of that. We do have a top panel here. And uh, of course, right clicking doesn't do anything, as is the standard function in the GNOME shell environment. All right, this is probably going to be, yep, user session. I do have, I do like the music player integration, which is Clementine. All right, time and date. The keyboard, the variety wallpaper changer. Clementine, I was messing with briefly. Uh, I kind of like Clementine as a music player along with um, uh, Rhythmbox. Banshee is good too. Okay. Not sure what that is there. Menu. Is that a menu? Oh, search. Okay. I believe that might be Synapse. All right, the update manager. Let's see what kind of updates we have. Let's go to refresh. Take a look here. All right, let's move along. Let's go to the menu. And this one here has, whoa, this has a gigantic <laughs> menu. I'm sure Ping Guy is saying WTF. Again, I have not installed this and adjusted it or tweaked it. So that being said, if you, if you wear contacts like I do and have trouble seeing, <laughs> I should just stop this now, but I, I like Ping Guy, so I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, these are the frequ <laughs> frequently uh, opened apps. <laughs> can't stop laughing. I was looking at Clementine and Firefox. I'm not sure why this uh, the menu blew up like this but that being said all applications <laughs> come on I know it's in a virtual box come on alright again this is loaded and I'm sure if you install this fully and have a good graphics card and enough RAM it, it will run much faster accessories 
games Steam is installed, okay. Graphics shot while I use internet. Alright, Firefox. Thunderbird mail I use. Office. Alright, the usual office suite. Other 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 other. Um let's take a look at Conky. That's what I wanted to show you. So if you wanted to get rid of this you can start go to re kill conky we'll go there I believe that's it and you can re remove it from startup if you prefer a simple screen default desktop not a lot of stuff on it alright let's go back here to the menu let's go to science math okay sound and video I do use Clementine, of course. I use Handbrake. And VLC Media Player is terrific. Sundry Deconf Editor I use sometimes. System Settings. Let's see, what do we have here? All right, the usual system sweat, uh, system sweatings, <laughs> not sweating, settings. I just woke up, but I wanted to take a look at this before I forgot. Let's see, anything sticks out here. Let's take a look at Ubuntu Tweak. Again, the automatic wallpaper changer. Ew, the atomic bomb. I don't like that one. Let's go to um let's go to forward. Next. Alright, that's more pleasant looking. Ubuntu Tweak. Oh, I really need a new test machine. Anyway, Ubuntu Tweak is a very user-friendly tweaking tool to tweak and customize your Ubuntu-based operating system. It's probably going to freeze here. That's, you know, I'm not surprised again. I'm not blaming Pingai on that. One of the aspects of VirtualBox, things don't always run as smoothly as expected. All right, and it looks like the docky here is going, everything is going to freeze. All right. That being said, I like what I see. If, if you are looking for a loaded system, as they always have been in the past with, with Pingai, it is geared towards the beginner. And um, once again, if you have a newer machine or something with uh, preferably probably 2 gigs of RAM, ought to run this comfortably. Let me see if I can close this and get out of here. All right. Anyway. I'm just going to leave it here as it is. All right. <laughs> well, in spite of this, I would definitely take a look at, Bing, at Ping Guy. You should install this and not run this in a virtual machine. This is just an artifact of, of the virtual you know, machine. This is somewhat normal. So that being said, <laughs> thank you for watching this uh, review. <laughs> Pink Guy is probably say, gee, thanks a lot, Toss. Trust me, guys, Ping Guy OS is one of the best Linux distributions out there that you can uh, test for yourself. And why not let me know? All right, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching and listening. If you can, place a small donation below the show notes so I can buy a new freaking machine. That's it for this one. I'll catch all you guys later.